This is dwarf summertime green, and it's from this plant right here, which is not doing so hot. Notice it's got some disease action on it, uh, but the tomatoes that came off it were really great. What's interesting about this one, about the dwarf summertime green, oh, the neighbor's bumping, is that um, I thought it was dwarf Mr. Snow. So this, this tomato was sitting on the plant for a long time while I was waiting for it to turn like whitish yellow color and it never turned. And, and all of a sudden I looked close at the plant and I remembered that I had planted a green tomato. I just for some reason thought summertime green was little and uh, it's not little, this is a 10 or 11 ounce uh, tomato. Um, so let's see, let's see what we can learn about this tomato here. Glad that the neighbor's bumping. 85 day dwarf uh, regular leaf foliage on a dwarf plant. The fruits are oblate, weigh up to 10 ounces, green colored when ripe, juicy sleep, sweet. It originated from a cross between golden dwarf champion and green giant. Made in 2007 by Petrina Nuske Small in Australia. Thank you, Petrina. And it was further selected by the Dwarf Tomato uh, Project member David Lockwood and named after his daughter, Summer. Awesome. So thank you, Victory Seeds, for curating this fine seed tomato. And uh, let's go taste it. Let's see what's going on with the summertime green. Weird tomatoes. Want to see the garden while we're going? some of the garden. There goes the neighbor who's bumping. This is our new pollinator garden. It also has tomatoes and stuff in it, but this isn't about that. This is about weird tomatoes. All right, let's check it out. Should we cut it open? I think so. I didn't think about this. How am I supposed to cut a tomato and hold the camera? I'm gonna balance it. No, that doesn't work. I do this. No, that doesn't work. Here, hold on while I cut it. I'm just gonna set it here. There we go. Ooh, I've been wanting to cut this. Cuts just perfectly using this nice bread knife, perfect knife for a tomato. Slices are green. Mmm. Mmm. Has a tropical kind of citrus, citrus flavor to it. This is a good tomato. Let's keep on keep on chopping it. Cut another one. Alright, this is a great veggie sandwich tomato. The acidity comes through nice. You're gonna think I'm just being hokey, but it does have a green apple quality. Might just be because it looks green. Reminds me of green Jolly Rancher tomato, but appearance or taste or aroma, it all kind of blurs together, right? When you taste something, it's the whole experience. Mmm, dwarf summertime green, highly recommended. Good sandwich tomato if you're an egg eater, an egg sandwich tomato with Thomas's English muffin. If you're a grilled cheese eater, it's grilled cheese tomato. If you're a vegan, this is a tomato sandwich tomato. Very fantastic. Highly recommended. Mm. Weird tomatoes.